Hey everybody, so today we're back here again uh, with my 3D printer. This is a Ender 3 S1 Plus, and this is kind of a, a PSA, I guess you could say, just for new beginners. Uh, and this is about the belts. So one thing you kind of don't realize with these machines, with any 3D printer really, uh, the belts are somewhat of a consumable item. Uh, it's kind of one of those things you don't really expect to break or snap uh, soon. But unfortunately for me, three months in and my belts did snap. So this is not a knock against the quality of, of the band. Uh, they were genuine Gates bands, which from my understanding is a very good brand, a uh, quality brand. Uh, so what happened was, it was actually all my fault, but what happened was is that I was actually tightening the belts too much. So we all have, for those of us who have uh, S1 series printer, we have this knob. Uh, I didn't realize, or I didn't know how tight was too tight, so I would just kind of crank that knob until it felt super tight, which you're not supposed to do. Uh, essentially what you're supposed to do is kind of crank it until you feel uh, a, a good amount of resistance, not too much. Again, it's really hard to quantify that on video, and I think that's what my problem was, because they do tell you, well, tighten them until they're tight, but not too tight. But how do you know how tight is too tight? So just one of those things of as soon as you start feeling resistance, I just kind of left it there, and so far it's been working well. Uh, the reason that I know that they were too tight is because when I had to remove the band, I had to remove this piece and I had to remove this piece. Uh, this piece has the limit switch sensor. Um, but at the bottom, there was just a lot of dust uh, or like particles left from the band. So that tells me that it was unfortunately just too tight. Uh, removing the band and replacing it was actually super easy, much easier than I thought. I thought it was going to be this very involved, complicated process, but... Uh, let's see if I can show you this here. On the back of the uh, of the carriage, hopefully you can see that. See the that little gold piece there. Um, essentially, the band connects on each side to the back of the that x-axis carriage. Uh, the back there, so it connects to one end, loops around, uh, and of course the stepper motor is here, and then it loops around and, and connects on this side. Uh, super easy. I, I honestly it took me maybe less than five minutes and that's with me really not knowing what I was doing. So yeah, so it connects on each side of that, that back carriage. Uh, and then the extruder connects to the carriage. So I did have to remove the extruder in order to get to that, uh, that back carriage. But after doing it, I realized that maybe I didn't, uh, but it's just a good idea just to give yourself more room. Uh, I'm actually glad that I did simply because I realized that the, these four bolts that uh, that bolt up the sprite extruder to that uh, that carriage was actually a little bit loose so had I not done that I wouldn't have realized that so tightened it up and, and everything's good so uh, as you can see these y-axis belts these are starting to wear too um, as soon as I realized that these were too tight I definitely did back these off uh, and again I just kind of cranked those until they were really tight not knowing what I was doing uh, so I did save these belts, at least for the the Y-axis belt. At least for now, I anticipate it's probably going to snap within, you know, the next few weeks. Just because these snapped so soon. Uh, I am prepared. I did buy extra uh, belts to replace them. Now, obviously, this is definitely different. I think you just have to remove two belts on this side to take this piece off. Um, and I think it's just these four screws to take that top part off to expose... The, the gear because if you feel at the bottom the gear is exposed so I think it's just that and just having to kind of run the belt through there so it doesn't seem like it's too complicated of course I'll find out once that belt snaps but uh, just one of those things to think about uh, unfortunately with 3d printing you know there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you know not hundreds but probably thousands or millions of YouTube videos that tell you this stuff but there's nobody here with you saying hey that's too tight they can you can kind of only go off what they say and also your own personal experience so at this point i failed but i can definitely now make sure that those belts don't fail again so 
uh, just a little bit of a, a little bit of a PSA or a word of caution if you do have one of these S1 style or S1 uh, series printers, the S1, S1 Pro or S1 Plus, just be careful and make sure that you don't crank this too much because you could snap your belt. Anyways, so thank you for watching and I uh, hope you guys have a good one.